he's done clipping, he folds the clippers up and heads back to the nurse's office to sign them back in again. While Paul's in the office, one of the staff members goes into the dorm to clear out any remaining patients and lock it up for the day. He notices the little pile of nail clippings on Paul's bed and starts screaming. Staff to the North Thorn. Staff to the North Thorn. <laughs> Staff go running in. Two guard the door while one remains by the, beside the bed with the nail clippings until another one fetches a plastic evidence bag to contain them. After the toenail clippings are safely locked in a contraband door inside the nurse's office until the RCMP can dispose of them appropriately, a so-called maximum security community meeting is held. The charge nurse speaks. From now on, whenever a patient uses the community nail clippers, he is to return his nail clippings with them when he's done. <laughs> I do not want another incident like this one to occur again. <laughs> Are there any questions? One patient cracks. Maybe we should have rubber scissors like we do in Hollywood. <laughs> the staff member who started it all off later explains to me. Some patients don't wash between their toes. And the shower stall can harbor all kinds of things. Athlete's foot, foot fungus, and various infections. With this new AIDS virus, even a scratch can infect somebody. If a patient were to use an infected toenail as a weapon to scratch someone in the eye, <laughs> cause blindness, <laughs> or worse, maybe even death. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't want it to happen to you. I guess not, I agree, wondering if he's paranoid.